we dive into the auction house in today's video and I show you the best filters to make your first 100,000 MT and so much more. For all NBA 2K25 grinding, contact Rose NBA, links in description. I'm gonna do my best not to cry during this video, guys, because, sorry, a bit emotional. We're making an auction house video today. We are making a video about sniping, making MT on the auction house. It feels so good to say that guys. Hit that sub button right now if you're hyped that the auction house is back. Drop a like on this video if you wanna make some MT in NBA 2K25 my team. And if you wanna win the season one pro pass, I'm giving it away to my subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed, follow my social medias to be entered to win a season one pro pass. So I'm gonna show you the best filters to use right now to make MT. MT, you gotta try and get to that first 100,000 MT because the more and more cards 2K drop, you gotta have 100K on you. 100K, especially if you want to be a, a sniper, you gotta have that 100K on you because if a pink diamond LeBron James pops up for 100,000 MT, you have to have the funds there to try and buy that card. We're gonna start with the cheapest filter. At the moment, the cheapest cards on the block are 700 MT. So the cheapest filter you wanna run is 500 MT. MT. That's the only thing you need to do is maximum buy at 500 MT. Sit on that filter right there. Anything can pop up from gold to pink diamond. This is arguably the most, or at least notoriously in previous 2Ks, it is the most competitive, the most competitive filter because anyone can do it. Anyone can use the five. All you need is 500 MT to be on this filter. And we just got a snipe right there. We got a gold player to pop up for 500 MT. We won it. I don't know how much Robert Dillingham is selling for, but we're gonna find out. So here's one of the cheaper cards, the 700 MT. So we make a 200 MT profit. It's not much, but it's profit. Next filter we're using is gonna be cheapest ruby. The cheapest rubies at the moment are 1.5 thousand MT. So this filter is color ruby. We wanna drop it down to maximum buy at a thousand MT. So any ruby that pops up for a thousand MT maximum, anything lower, that's what we wanna try and snipe. We can profit 500 MT minimum on each one of those snipes. Next filter we're doing is Amethyst, cheapest Amethyst. So 12,000 MT right here. We got Jason Tatum, Mr. Cheapest at just under 12,000. So these filters right now are really starting to get to the point where they can make you a lot of MT. So we wanna drop this filter down to, I would say 10,000 MT. Any Amethyst under 10K is definitely a snipe at the moment. So you're making a minimum profit of 2,000 MT for every card that pops up because you always have to consider the 10, is it, I think it's 10% tax. Next filter is gonna be diamond. We're gonna find the minimum diamond. You can probably see the method we're going for right here. We're going the cheapest of every gem because it basically just is determined on your budget. And right here we're doing diamond. So the cheapest diamond is 38. For this one to be comfortable making profit, I'd probably drop it down to 32,000 MT. You just wanna leave plenty of room. So if something pops up, you know you're gonna, you're gonna make MT after the tax. The tax is the biggest thing you got to make sure. Next filter is Pink Diamond. I mean, there is only LeBron James up at the moment and he is obviously super expensive. So what you can do is go minimum buy out of 500, or 500, which means any Pink Diamond that pops up for 100K max will pop up on this filter. Now, the chances of a LeBron popping up are so slim, but this is a very good filter to have in mind for when 2K drop new content because we're going to get Pink Diamonds every single promo drop from the jump because we already got LeBron obviously. So a filter like this is a filter you want to jump on around the same time PAX first drop because people are pulling the new cards, listing them and mistakes get made and sometimes they get listed for, for buy it now and that's where you want to swoop in and snag those cards. Another great filter is the Emerald Victor Wembenyama filter. This is an 8,000 minimum MT card. So there's a lot of value on this. So if you search Victor Wembenyama and you drop this down to, I would honestly just say 7,000 MT and sit on that filter right there. That way you're, 
you're gonna profit a thousand MT uh, minimum every time a Victor pops up. A lot of people are just gonna have duplicate Victors that they just don't care. They'll just chuck up for a thousand, two thousand, and just just to get rid of it because they don't realize that this card actually sells for quite a lot of MT. So this filter can make you a lot of MT. Another one is Bronny James, and right here is almost a snipe. But this is uh, you can honestly, I mean, there's 750 MT profit if I buy this card and relist it for 5,000 MT. But this is another filter, same with the Victor. This card's not good though. At least Victor's actually a good card. But the cheapest one, I wouldn't even say it's this one. I'd probably drop the filter down to 4,000 MT. Again, it's not a good card at all. You know, he's selling for 5,000 MT though, which is just crazy, but people want to use Bronny for the first time. And a lot of people are just going to chuck this card up for really cheap because again, it's not even a good card. The thing with Wemby at least, he, that's a good card. That's a 7-4 card. Obviously, people are going to want to use a card like that. I'm using a card like that, but this Bronny James is not good at all. It's gold, you know? He'll get better versions in the future, but this gold is not it. So, in the meantime, while we wait for Bronny James to get better cards, take advantage of this gold one, the fact that it's a snipe filter, man. You can make a lot of MT from the Bronny James snipe filter. Something to look at when you're sniping is the challenges. And there's a reason is because of these challenges right here so these challenges right here if you complete them you get a free full throttle pack so if we go to the Russell breast Br if we go to the Russell Westbrook one for example we have right here career high Westbrook get 24 assist with any Russell Westbrook card over multiple games. Because of that, that has made Westbrook cards expensive. And I'm not talking about his diamond, although his diamond would be great. He has a ruby that is also quite expensive. He has a sapphire that is quite expensive, but he even has a gold card that is expensive because you only need assists and assists are not easy, uh, are not uh, hard to get. So Russell Westbrook's cheapest card is 15,000 MT. So for this filter, I would drop it down to probably 13,000 MT. A big mistake though, do not make it gold. Do not specifically snipe for the gold Westbrook. You wanna leave that at, or any, any Westbrook can pop up because chances are a gold one's gonna pop up the uh, majority of the time, but on the chance a sapphire, a ruby, you know, uh, a diamond would be amazing to pop up for 13,000 MT or under, that's an amazing snipe. But chances are the gold one's gonna pop up and the gold one can make you a lot of MT as well. But guys, that's gonna wrap up today's auction house sniping video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it makes you a bunch of MT. There's not a bunch of people posting cards at the moment moment but it's gonna progress get used to sniping get used to making a bunch of mt using the auction house and save real life money but make sure you do subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video and i'll catch you guys on the next upload it's been witnessed